Due to the high tides in Georgia, the docks are very long. And there's Horizon Bound. Savannah had a lot of exterior shots in the movie Forrest Gump. It took a minute to find, but here at the corner of Hull Street and Bull Street is Chippewa Square. This is in a nice affluent area, lots of beautiful shops and trendy um, bars and pubs. The park is lovely. It took a minute. I had to watch on um, a channel to see the beginning scene of the Forrest Gump, and actually scene by scene, the bench would have sat right there where those people are gathering. Right there was where Tom Hanks sat. So the opening scene with the feather falling falls in front of this church steeple here. So the church steeple goes down, checks out where those beautiful pillars are, and then comes down through here, down across, where those people are crossing, a lady crosses, a man has a feather on his shoulder, they cross the street there and they pan over to Tom Hanks playing Forrest Gump on a bench. Now the bench is now in a museum right here downtown in the public museum, but through movie magic they created a bench, a little brick uh, bus stop, and here's where he sat, right here, Chippewa Square, historic Savannah. Who knew? I'm on Bull Street, and as I walk, probably every three blocks is a beautiful, open, green space park. Um, they are lovely. They're all called squares, it seems to be. I'm in the SCAD area right now, which is Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, also, if you look down some of these streets, let me see if I can spin this around. Look at this. Moss, beautiful brownstones just a beautiful walk on Bull Street. If you're coming to Savannah, I highly recommend walking up and down Bull Street just for the shopping and the parks alone. Lovely. I made it into Fourth Scythe Park. It's a very large park here with the most famous fountain in the middle of it. This is a 30 acre park. When you Google 10 things to do in Savannah, this is always number one. So you have to come to this park, very relaxing. And on your way to it, you'll walk by many shops and pubs and restaurants and art galleries and beautiful, beautiful homes and townhouses. So it's a lovely area. James on Lincoln. You know Robin's gonna check that out. <laughs> Lincoln Street is just because it's on Lincoln is why it's called Abe's on Lincoln and this started. So here's my little quick take on Abraham Lincoln. I've got a little state of Michigan and an anchor and I'm going to stick it right at the fireplace because I know he would have loved it here and he will be there forever. Yay, Abraham Lincoln! Right here in the Savannah! Good. Right on. There's a firefighter's memorial cell right across from the fire department here. Okay, we just entered the old pink house. Here's the entrance. And each room in this house is a dining area. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Look at the floor. This was originally like where the slaves were housed, like they were the servants. So here it is. It's very dark down here, but we found it. When they redid this in later years, they uncovered a couple of the walls and they actually found two fireplaces that were covered at the turn of the century. And now we're in the bar. Oh, 
Oh, this is where I want to sit. Oh. Oh, this is my vibe. 1771, it was built. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first governor of Georgia, James Haversham Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, he lived here a handful of years. It's been many things since then, but uh, the, the big thing happened after that was uh, First Bank of Georgia bought it in 1811. Mm -hmm. added this vault that was your original exterior wall right here so they added that vault we kept all the valuables gold uh cash whatever silver we have a foot long brass key oh it still my operates gosh. that 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 deadbolt still works really so cool. i'll have to go yeah. check it out yeah uh you know since then we we just store wine in it and you can you can eat in it uh, it's really cool but uh still roman arch one of the strongest structures, structures still to this day absolutely we're in the basement of the old pink house. We're in the bathroom, and this is said to be the haunted bathroom. There's Mrs. Haversham. She is the owner's wife, and she was not happy with her husband and has said to be haunting this place ever since. And look at her right here, it says, Mrs. Haversham insists. <laughs> so they gave her the place of honor right above the toilet. And it is said that sometimes you could be in here and you'll hear her rattling the door or screaming for you to get out. Ooh! Haunted. This house is one of the most haunted houses here in Savannah. If you believe in ghosts. Ooh. And another note, life is like a box of chocolates. 